In today's demo, in today's demo, fake it till you make it, bro. With VO 3.1, let's get into it. Action. The two features I'm gonna cover today are adding objects to a video and ingredients to video. Yay! Inserting objects to videos. It's essentially a workflow that allows you to take a generated video and then start adding new objects to that video. So in this example, I'm starting with a source video of me walking through an empty office space, and then you can see how the workflow allows me to just add various elements to that video. Here's how that works. I'll start off with this video created using an image to video workflow. To create that, I first need a source image. That source image is something that I created using Nano Banana by uploading the following uh, references of myself and then asked it generate an image of me in an empty office space. I then uploaded that source image to VIA and then gave it a prompt of someone walking and talking. And here's your output. Our mission is simple. We're making the world a better place. Looking good. So let's say we want to go ahead and add some more elements like workstations. So click on insert over here and then enter your prompt for adding workstations and here's your output. How? Through scalable disruption. It's coming along. Uh, let's say we want to go ahead and add some decorative elements. So again, click on insert, enter your prompt for those elements. In this case, it's going to be a living wall uh, with some signage. Here's your output. We are the Uber for everything. So V only does eight second videos. So what we want to do is we need to extend this uh, so that we have room for a closing line for uh, the character's elevator pitch. For that, click on Add to Scene, and then that will launch the Scene Builder. So once the Scene Builder is open, you click on this icon over here, click on Extend Video, and then enter, your, enter the prompt for how you would like to extend this video. In this case, we're going to add some closing lines, and then we're going to add additional prompts for the type of mood we want to create. Click Generate, and here's your output. And it's all powered by AI. Next up in this demo, Ingredients to video. Hey, watch where you're going. Great, moving along to ingredients to video. I really like this workflow. What it allows you to do is upload images uh, that can be used as sort of style references. In this case, I'm gonna upload this image of myself, the scooter, and the office space that I want the setting to be in. Okay, I'm gonna enter my prompt. My prompt is about an exchange that happens between two people in an office, and here's what it put together. How are we doing on those DAUs? Oops, gotta jump on a quick sync. Remember, fail fast, fail forward. Here's some other examples where I changed the settings and you can see the uh, different ingredients that I used for them. One powerful application off the top of my head would be being able to generate product placement video. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more you could do with it, but just spitballing here. That's a wrap, that's all for this video. Until uh, next time. I know they don't always look like me, but it's a 3.1 release, not a 4.0.